Oops, sorry, I, I got distracted. I apologize, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me get this, let me get you to me so that you stop staring at that crazy screen. Hey, everybody, welcome, welcome. It's Wednesday, and you know what Wednesday is? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh-huh, I know. I spend far too much time at night staring at the ceiling. I'm trying to find the video. I'm trying to find the live so I can get your comments, but we'll get there. I'll give it a minute. But hey, I'm Macon Maria, your independent chocolate designer, and it is a Whip It Up Wednesday because we are whipping things up tonight, man. <laughs> I know. I know. I really should sleep more, and I shouldn't come up with all this craziness. But hey, tonight is a Whip It Up, and we are going to whip up something cute and something fun as soon as I can get your comments up here so that I can say hello to everybody who is here and thank you thank you for watching me so while I am trying to find your comments if you can hit the share button that would be fantastic if you are watching the replay there we go you can still hit the share button um, it helps me tremendously when you share my video whether you're watching me live or you're watching the replay so uh, help me out if you can and hit share hey Terry welcome to whip it up Wednesday so whip it up Wednesday in theory should be a quick easy little project that you can just whip up now we all know I'm a yapper <laughs> so doesn't always quite go that fast but I like to think in my mind that this is gonna go super quick and super easy and uh, we're just gonna whip this bad boy right up so let me show you what we are doing there we go so I have a palette board this is a 9 by 12 palette board and why is my phone not, not supposed to be making noises anymore I'm sorry I thought I had everything turned off um we'll see hopefully it won't keep dinging at us but um this is a 9 by 12 palette board that I have waxed I still need to buff it because I just put the wax on it um and we are going to make please excuse the mess our children are making memories because uh, you know this kind of fits my house on most given days so I'm going to just quickly buff this and I've learned if I don't do it on the table you guys don't shake <laughs> because I realize that you guys really shake a lot when I'm doing stuff I didn't realize how much you were shaking so I'm just buffing off the wax that I had put on and I wax this board because it's a wood board anytime I chalk on wood I wax it um, this is a chalk couture board it's double-sided you can chalk on both sides it stands all by itself so it's a really nice you can hang it or you can set it it stands both ways um, so it's a really nice little versatile white background board I tend to lean more in the white background board for my own personal home I don't know why I just always have um, so the nice thing about this board is because there's no hanger I don't have to be worried about which direction do I have the board in do I have it <laughs> the right way so hey Sherry well I think you're back you're back welcome back from vacay so tonight we're just doing a quick little make it whipping it up tomorrow is Thursday to give you a little fair warning about what Thursday is and Thursday is thankful Thursday and on thankful Thursday we will I will make a project because I'm very thankful for all of you that are watching me and when you share my video and comment that you've shared I will give the project that I make away to whoever wins the you know random name picker so I'm just writing the name of the transfer on the back of it I can't write and talk at the same time <laughs> I am just not that talented <laughs> okay so I write the name of the transfer on the back of it I do that for two reasons I write it on the back so I know which side is the back and I write it on the back so that I know which transfer goes on which backer now on these ones it's not so so bad because I'm not you're not cutting them apart it's kind of more important on the ones that you cut apart that you know which piece goes on which backer Oh, you are back from vacation. Hey, Cheryl, thank you so much for sharing my video. Hey, Kathy, welcome to our chalk and party. We are cleaning up the mess on Whip It Wednesday. So when you go to chalk, you take your 
backer off of your transfer. You don't do it the other way. You have less likelihood of the backer touching itself when you take it off that way. I take it off and I'm putting this on wood and this is a brand new transfer. So you are definitely going to fuzz your transfer. And by fuzzing your transfer, what you're doing is you're putting it on a towel, blue jeans, a t-shirt, some type of fabric that has lint on it so that it picks up some of that lint and just makes it not as sticky. Then when you're done with your transfer, again, I'm hoping I'm back. I don't know, I lost you guys. So let me get to here and see if I can get you guys back. I don't know if I can get you back. I hope I can get you back. Because it still says I'm live. Don't you love these technical difficulties? So let's see if you guys can see me. It says I'm still live, but I'm not doing anything. This is that interesting. Okay, so we're going to keep going. Because I think I'm here. Okay, so we have, I fuzzed my transfer. So what I've done so far is, hey Terry, welcome to our party. Sorry for the freezing and having to restart. I'm not sure what that all is about, but it says we're still going, so we're still going. So anyway, this fuzzing towel is super nice, microfiber, fuzzy on one side. It's just a really nice size. It's perfect for the transfers. Um, oh, good, Cheryl. I'm glad. Thank you, Cheryl. Okay. Whew. Technology. All right, so I'm going to line up my transfer. And this is a palette board. So it has the lines in it, but they're on purpose. They're super close together so that you have less likelihood of getting chalk stuck in those lines. Where if you uh, get a palette board that has really deep grooves, what happens is the chalk goes in, in the spaces. Okay, so I am just putting my transfer down. Now this guy we're going to do in a couple colors just for fun for Whip It Up Wednesday. I'm pushing, making sure I have all my uh, words down, that everything is down and good. So we are going to do Parakeet, Forget Me Not, and Storm. And I kind of really struggled with colors because I was going to do one color, our children in one color, and then a different color in our Making Memories. So I was thinking in this order. Parakeet, Storm, and Forget Me Not on the bottom. But then I'm like, gray? Should our children be gray? So then I thought, well, maybe just our could be Storm. And then I even thought about doing children half and half. So while I'm stirring up, i got to think about what we're going to do here for color-wise. Because... <laughs> and here we, the torture for the evening starts. I've been trying to be so good. <laughs> okay, so we're just opening up. So I'm hoping you're all back. I don't think all of you came back, but that's okay. Because you guys, I know most of you watch with the replay. So I am stirring up my chalk, getting it good and ready to go. This parakeet is a super pretty green. It's bright and springy, which is why I like it. And then forget me not blue. The reason my chalks look like this, if you can see like the coloration, is because I put water in them. I spray water on the top before I seal them up when I'm done with them. It helps uh, keep them moist. So then you just gotta stir it in a little bit because it does tend to color separate slightly. And I'm gonna stir up our storm, which is gorgeous. Oh my, he's in really good shape. The storm gets used a lot, so he's always in good shape. Oh, I know what I was talking about. I was talking about Thankful Thursday. So Thursday will be Thankful Thursday, and we'll make a project. Whatever project we make, I will then give away randomly to the people that share my video because I am very, very thankful to all of you that take the time to hit that share button. So thank you for doing that, and on Thursdays, we will do a drawing. So what will happen is we'll make the project on Thursday, and then on Friday night, which Friday is Fantastic Friday, Font. Fantastic Friday. <laughs> We're going to do something with a font. Woo! <laughs> I'll be back. Or words. Hmm. Because that's so different than tonight. But 
it went with Friday. So we're going to do Fantastic Friday. And on Fantastic Friday, when we do that, we'll do our random name picker for Thankful Thursday as well. So tonight's Whip It Up Wednesday. Slow down. Hey, Sarah. Welcome to our party. Hey, Debbie. Welcome to our party. Monday is a Make It Monday. And Monday will always have a little bundle in the VIP group so that you can make the project that I make. Tuesday is Target Tuesday, where we will make something from either the Target Bullseye section or just Target in general. Wednesday is Whip It Up Wednesday, where the project should hopefully be something quick. <laughs> Although, look at me, I'm already yapping and I haven't put any chalk down yet. Thursday is Thankful Thursday, where I'm thankful for, to all of you that share my video. So we will make a project and I will give it away randomly to whoever um, gets picked. And Friday is Fantastic Friday, and we will do something with a font or words, which is font, basically. So that is our happy chalk and schedule that I'm going to try to uh, stick with, <laughs> at least for a week or two. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I was trying to do Thrifty Thursday and try to come up with something thrifty, but it, it boggled my brain this week to come up with something thrifty, so we ended up with Thankful, which is okay. So we have got Please Excuse Our Mess. We are going to do Please Excuse Our Mess in Parakeet, Our Children in Storm, and then are making memories in forget me not that's kind of what I'm thinking but I really don't know if children should be gray I think it should be bright because children are bright and they're cheery and so I could throw in a third color or I could just give up and I could do half green and half blue too I could make children you know ombre but I think that would look crazy with the we're just making it gray. See, this is what happens. It's supposed to be whip it up, right? I'm just supposed to whip. I'm not supposed to overthink. So I'm not going to overthink. I'm just going to whip up. So I'm going to dip and go in my parakeet. And I'm just going to do our please excuse our mess. And this project will go very fast. So it won't take us long at all. So we are going to whip it up. Do not have enough chalk to get my little section here, so I'm going to dip a little more in and get that guy down. Okay. So this palette board is very nice. It's versatile. I it is a one-time use board, but I have washed it off and reused it, um, and I've not had a problem doing it. I did wax the board. The company will not guarantee you that you can wash it off and reuse it, but I have done that. So you can definitely try it. If you want to. I need to move faster because my chalk is going to dry. I'm yapping away like I'm inking and I'm not inking. I am doing chalk so I need to move faster. So now we have our children in storm. This is a really cute little transfer I think because I think it's very true. You know I am somebody my house is not clean. My house is always picked up mostly but, but you know don't ever look at my kitchen floor because it's probably not been washed in a week or two, or three. I like to wash my floor, kitchen floor. It's like my job I absolutely positively hate to do is washing my kitchen floor. <laughs> but my house always appears to be clean. It's just don't look in the corners. Um, but I, I worry too much about my house being clean, and I should worry more about are we having fun? Are we making the memories? Are we slowing down and not... I mean, who cares if my house is clean? People don't come to my house to see if my house is clean. They come to my house to see my kids and me and have fun, right? Right. I should stop worrying about it. <sighs> but I can't. <laughs> I've tried. It doesn't work. So I'm already done with our quick little project here on the palette board. I'm wiping off my squeegee as I go. And I'm going to peel and reveal. So I start my transfer in the corner. I'm not going to pull in the corner. I'm going to pull from the middle. Oh, I like the gray. I don't mind the gray now at all. <laughs> Isn't that funny how you think it's one way and then you do it and it's another way? <gasps> Here, let's get rid of that. Look at how cute this is. Please excuse our mess. Our oh my gosh, this is even cuter than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> not that I didn't think it was going to be cute, but... I guess I didn't realize the font had all these cute little, like, nodule thingies on it. This is super cute. Okay, I'm going to dry it so I don't stick my finger in it. So, look, we, we 
whipped this up and we had technical difficulties. So, you know, we had at least a good three minutes of technical difficulties. So we did this one fast. So it can, it can stay in the whip it up Wednesday. So I'm just drying it so I don't stick my finger in it. While I am drying it, um, in the Making Maria VIP group, currently, we did the project last night with the Bake It and They Will Come transfer. There is a bundle in there in the, Making, the VIP group. So if you're currently not in the Making Maria VIP group, you want to get in there because that was Make It Monday's project where we... Um, did some we inked some towels with that bake it and they will come and I love hugs I love kisses but what I really want is help with the dishes um, we did that transfer so that transfer with some towels and some ink and a squeegee is a bundle that's in the making Maria VIP group so if you're not in the making Maria VIP group you want to comment at me and I will send you the link or you can just go right to the making Maria VIP group page and request to join which is what most of you do um, Either way, doesn't matter. So uh, that bundle is in there. All the other bundles that were in there sold out. The Build-A-Bunny, I sold my last Build-A-Bunny today. All the Easter ones are gone. Everything is gone. So um, Build-A-Bunny is still available online. I don't think he'll be there for much longer. Um, but when I looked yesterday, he was still there. I didn't look today, but yesterday he was still there. Um, so if you still like the Build-A-Bunny, you want to get him ordered because you want to go right to the website, the Making Maria, or I'm sorry, the www.chalkcouture.com slash making Maria build a bunny is under last chance because um, he is retiring when he is sold out he will be gone forever um, so you have to go to the website if you want that one you can order it directly right on there when you go to the making Maria part of Chalk Couture and order that one but otherwise all the bundles are gone everybody bought them so thank you thank you thank you everybody for uh, participating in some of the the fun of the VIP group um, so if you're not currently a member in there and you want to be, just comment at me and I will very happily put you in there. If you can share my video, I greatly appreciate that. That helps me tremendously. And I'm watching the mailbox because the Club Couture for April is coming and it's super sweet. It says sweet spring. It has all these pretty little flowers with it. We're going to have so much fun with that transfer. Um, so if you want to be part of the exclusive club and get a transfer that nobody else can get, um, comment club and I will send you the link on how to be part of the club. Uh, last but not least, whew, my commercials are getting longer. Um, if you are curious at all about what it means to be a Chuck Couture independent designer and how you can earn a little extra cash while you enjoy your hobby, um, comment curious or you can just message me directly and I will be more than happy to just send you some information about what it all means it's definitely no pressure or just check it out if you want to so those are the ends the end of my commercials Whew. this is super cute isn't it please excuse the mess our children are making memories so this was whip it up Wednesday thank you for watching me thank you for sharing me oh hey Jane I'm sorry hey oh hey Verge Welcome, everybody. Um, this was a quick one, even with technical difficulties, so that's good. It was truly whip it up. Um, I'm rambling. Did you notice? Yes, I am rambling. My next class is April 27th at Crummy Art, and this is one of the transfers that's actually going to be available there at that class. So if you want to come and make one of these, I'm posting that class tomorrow. So this is super cute, super fun. You can make the colors that match your own home. Um, oh, here, let's stand him up so you can see him stood up. Look at that. Oh, I guess you can't see him stood up, but he stands up all by himself. Ooh, if I make him straight. Um, but he just stands, just all on his own. Or you can hang him. He's got this little edge, so you could hang him on the wall if you wanted to. But super cute, super fun. I'm going to put this one in my laundry room because these are the colors in my laundry room. And thank you all so much for watching me. Hope you have a super fantastic Thursday. Tomorrow I'm thankful, thankful for you. So we'll be making a quick project. And then if you share the video, you'll get an opportunity to win it. So have a lovely night. Thank you, everybody. Sweet dreams. Be safe. See ya.